Okay, let's start with our, with our sample problem number one. So, natagi uh, problem diri. The 50 kilogram crate shown below, so this is the crate, rests on a horizontal surface for which the coefficient of kinetic friction mu k is equal to 0 0.3. If the crate is subjected to a 400 newton uh, towing force as shown, we were asked what is the velocity of the crate in 3 seconds starting from rest. So, na naman tayo guys, during a force is equal to mass times acceleration. Then, we can uh, say that the acceleration here is increasing and is also constant. So, for our first problem, na itong given is uh, mass is equal to 50 kilograms. And then, coefficient of kinetic uh, friction is equal to 0 0.3. And then, natin ka itong gabitan niya nga force equal to 400 newton. So, this is an SI unit. So, uh, the, velocity, the velocity, determine the velocity to create in 3 seconds starting from rest. So, naging din nga, the velocity at time is equal to 0. The velocity is 0 because it's, it is states that the crate starts from rest. And then we were asked, what is the velocity when the time is 3 seconds? So, uh, if I'm going to draw the koan, the crate, we have this uh, crate, no? So, na siya towing force, P is equal to 400 newton, which is inclined 30 degrees to the horizontal plane. Kung sa pay forces involved sa koan, there is a crate. So, na siya mass nga 50 kilograms. So, na day siya weight. So, sa pay another force nga appeal diri. So, na po ni siya normal force. Normal force is always perpendicular to the surface. Since gibitad man ni siya pa ingon diri sa right, it means na mag aning a force along right. We were given a mu k, coefficient of kinetic friction. So, na siya friction, which is opposite to the direction. So, we we analyze or we uh, assume that the crate moves to the right. So, the acceleration is towards the right. Therefore, the friction is towards the left. So, it resists the motion. So, we have it here, F. So, we know that the friction is just equal to the mu k kinetic of coefficient friction times the normal force n. So let's start solving this problem. So the velocity at time is equal to 3 seconds. Manetong ginapangita. So uh, let's create an FBD, a free body diagram of the this object. Since wala may gibutan dire unsa ning notation unsa ning axis and kaning axis. Let's just retain this as the x-axis and then the y-axis. So, not a downward force weight, W. So, that is equal to W. And then, I normal force upwards. Not a uh, force P, which is equal to 400 newton. Incline at 30 degrees angle, and then we have a fraction to the left, F. So, sa may buhat to na to. So, ato sa i-determine pila si weight. So, we know that weight is equal to mass times the gravitational acceleration. So, we have uh, 50 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. So, ang ato ang weight is equal to weight of the crate, 50 times 9.81. That is equal to? 490.50 Newton. So, we can write it here that it is, the weight is equal to 490.50 Newton. So, uh, so, ato ang koan, naman tayong mga values nga unknown. We should solve for the friction, for the normal force. So, the normal, so ato ang una sa isolve is, we can solve for the normal force first since ang friction is a uh, kinalantag normal force to solve the friction. So, we uh, some moments along the y component. So, ang y, along the y component, there is no acceleration. So, summation of forces along y equals 
cos m times a mang yapon but since there is no acceleration along the y component as it already it only moves along the horizontal so this is a zero so we can safely assume that summation of forces along y is just zero sa to pa there is no motion along the y but only along the x as shown here so our f a summation of forces along y from this diagram we have the normal force minus the weight which is equal to 490.5 newton plus this one, plus 400 newton sine 30 is equal to zero. From this one, we can solve that uh, the normal force which is equal to 490.5 minus 400 sine 30, or normal, normal force then is equal to 490 minus 400 sine 30 is equal to 290 newtons. Next, we can solve for the, uh, the, the friction which is equal to mu k n. Ang quantum coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.3. So that is 0 0.3 times the normal force na 290. Then we have a friction equal to what is the um, friction? No, no, no. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, 0 0.3 times 290, we have 87 Newton. So, say next na to buhaton, we solve for the acceleration of the object. Para makuha na to si velocity because acceleration and velocity has relationship. So, summation along force, for, forces along X is just equal to MA. Same, yeah. Since na acceleration sa A, I mean, along X, Sa to pa si A is not zero, unlike here. So, ato ang summation of force along X from this FBD, we have the 400 cosine 30 minus the friction is equal to the mass times the acceleration. So, atong mass of the object is equal to 50 kilograms. So, substituting those values, 400 uh, cosine 30 minus... The F is equal to 87 is equal to 50 times the acceleration. We can have an acceleration equal to 400 cosine 30 minus 87 over 50. 5.188 meters per second squared. 5.188 meters per second squared. Now we have the acceleration, therefore we can solve for the velocity. On the relationship ni acceleration of the velocity, acceleration is just equal to the change uh, the, uh, the change of velocity with respect to time, dv over dt. So dv is equal to a dt. Our a acceleration is equal to 5.188 dt. Integrating both sides, we can... Uh, from 0 to V and then from 0 to 3 seconds, we can have V from 0 to V is equal to 5.188 from 0 to 3 T. So we have here V minus 0 is equal to 5.188 times 3 minus 0. V is just equal to 5.188 times 3 minus 0 is just equal to 3. So, our velocity at t is equal to 3 seconds is 15.564 meters per second. So, this is the answer to the problem. So, the object moves to the right with a velocity equal to 15.564 meters per seconds.